your skin, Big Bandish. Hey guys, what's up? Is my face story here? I am recording this a little bit different today. I'm in a different room and it's kind of like vloggy style. So we're gonna see how that goes. Um, I don't know if I can hold my phone up for this long, but we're gonna try. So today what I want to talk to you guys about is the caveman regimen and why I ended up quitting it. I know, I know that I've talked about it like before and raved about it and said how great it was for my skin, how great it's been for me. And I do still take some core principles from it. I do still think mentally it's been a really good learning experience, but physically, hunty, no. Let's get into it. Let's get into what happened. So basically for like the first month, my skin continued to clear up. And I think, you know, looking back now, this was my skin just needing time away from products, but not permanently. I think that it needed time to heal because I had a damaged skin barrier. So regardless of what I was putting on my skin, it wasn't going to work. It was gonna break me out and it was gonna irritate my skin. So I think giving my skin like at least a month to completely heal itself was why I wasn't breaking out because my skin was so focused on healing. I don't know if that makes sense or not, but it makes sense to me. I didn't break out at all for a month and I had such high hopes. I was like, this is it. This is the cure. This is my saving grace. I can't believe this is all I needed to do. Just do the caveman regimen and then um, not put anything on my face. Felt great. It was great for a month. And then for like two weeks after my face started to get really oily again. So I don't think it was like focused on healing anymore because you know, for the first month it was completely dry. My skin was like flaky, I had red patches. It was kind of like just dull looking. It wasn't really like glowy, obviously, because I had all this dead skin on my face. But after like the first month, so I started getting oily again. And then it was like a month and two weeks in, I started breaking out in cysts again. So I didn't get any cysts. I got one cyst the whole time. And then after about a month and a half, I got one, two, three, <laughs> four. So I was like, you know what, I can't, I can't keep doing this because first of all, you guys know that cysts last for freaking ever, at least on me, they last so long. So there's no way I can just go and not put anything on it because if I do that, it's, it's just going to stay like, it's going to stay forever. <laughs> well, not forever, but ooh, it's hard to hold this camera up. Not forever, but it, you know, it'll probably last for like three months or more. So I felt like I had to start putting something on my spots. So for a week I put something on my spots, but then they started like migrating, like moving around, which has been kind of like hellish because it's just like a cluster and then it'll just like move. So at that point I was like, well, I'm just gonna treat my whole face. And then the next thing you know, I'm like back into a full blown skincare routine. And my skin has continuously gotten better now that I'm back into my skincare routine. I really think that it was just at first something that I needed to do to lay off of all of the exfoliants and all of the chemical peels and all, you know what I mean? Like I think I was doing too much and then I think I was doing with the caveman regimen, not enough. So I feel like that's how I am. Like I either go one extreme or the other and I think what it's actually about is just finding that good in between, like finding a balance. Cause I can tell now, like my skin looks way better <laughs> in these areas. Obviously I have like this stuff going on, but it's looking good. So let me get a drink of water. Oh my God. Whew. Look at that chap lip. So unfortunately, I hate to report this back, but it did not work. It was not a long-term solution for me personally, but I would recommend that everyone try it just to see because from doing it, I learned that my acne isn't a result of product irritation. If it was a result of product irritation, then it would have completely gone away. You know what I mean? I did it for about two months almost. So since I wasn't putting anything on my face, now I can be 100% sure that that's not the cause. So now I know that the cause is internal, whether it's stress, hormones, digestion, at least I have that to go off of now and I don't have to worry like, oh, is this specific product breaking me out? Unless it's like, I'm using too much again. You know what I mean? So I think it was really good learning experience and I would definitely recommend it to 
anyone who is struggling with their skin and hasn't found like anything to cure it you know if you if you have not cure it i don't really believe in acne cures but if you have adult acne and it keeps being persistent and it just keeps popping up and no matter what you do it's not going away it is something that i would definitely recommend trying just to see and it's really not as scary as it seems putting nothing on your face not touching your face um, and you'd be surprised because I always thought I had oily skin, but my skin actually ended up being very, very, very dry. You don't know until you try, you know? I feel like it's hard because I always get my hopes up and I always think, oh, it's going to work this time. It's going to work this time. And I talk it up and then like a month or two later, it stops working. And then I have to come back and be like, just kidding, you guys, it didn't work. I know it's not my fault and I know it's not like me that's doing it that it's the product but i feel bad like i'm letting people down because i can't find a cure for myself so not a cure but i can't find something to permanently work for myself but that doesn't mean i'm going to stop trying and that doesn't mean that i'm going to give up i'm still going to you know keep doing the best i can i'm talking like a million miles a minute because i just had coffee today and i never ever 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 drink coffee so that's that mentally yeah it's been really good because you know i think i'm going to take away some of the mental aspects not to beat yourself up so hard when you're breaking out not to just like keep obsessing about your skin obsessing about your appearance to just like kind of let it go obviously if i get cysts i'm gonna treat them because i'm not someone to just like let it go i feel like that is kind of bad advice for cystic acne just because the longer you let it go the more chances you have of having a scar so you do want to treat something like that but i think you know with like whiteheads and like blackheads i'm not going to just like be obsessing over them like i was before i think it's a good thing to learn mentally and to just accept your skin for what it is didn't work did not end up working for me two months worked the first month didn't work the second month don't know why that happens to me but usually that's the way it goes so we're just going to keep trying stuff and keep seeing what's gonna work that is it that is all i have so look at that that is such a good angle Ooh. all right that is it make sure that you like comment and subscribe down below to the acne channel and yeah bye There's a hope